I'm Olivia Lane, and I am a health coach, green living educator, and a blogger. Today I want to talk to you guys about perfectionism. Last week, I made a video discussing the improvements I've been made to IIN's health coach training program. And a friend of mine left a comment asking if she could um, if she could become a health coach despite the fact that she had suffered from eating disorder in the past. And I, of course, encouraged her to become a health coach uh, if that's what she wanted to do, or rather to not let the fact that she had suffered from disordered eating in the past keep her from, from exploring an opportunity to become a health coach. And I just thought I'd make this video just because I hear that kind of thing come up a lot. Oftentimes people wonder if they can do something even though this. So, you know, like can I start running tomorrow even though I haven't exercised in like five years? Can I um, try a um, gluten-free diet even though I'm Italian or something like that. So basically, I just want to let you guys know that first off, you don't need permission to do anything. You can be anyone or anything uh, that you want to become and you can do anything that you want. Definitely don't ask for permission for anything. If your heart desires it, you absolutely can can make it happen and do it. Um, and it doesn't really matter what someone else thinks of, thinks about your uh, abilities or limitations based on your past or your present circumstances. Once you set determination that you can accomplish something and that you're capable, you can. So that's just first 1A. Okay. Um, the heart of this, though, that I really want to talk to you and that I wanted to convey to my friend is that you, you are perfect. You're perfectly you. Um, really, when you have a desire or a wish or a goal that you want to accomplish, and um, and it's in it and it's in your heart, there's a reason for that. So. Um, and a lot of that that desire comes from our past challenges and or accomplishments, and it comes from our present circumstances and for our, from our desires for the future. So, really, your like your past is what makes you who you are, and it's what makes you a un unique individual that can only deliver your mission to the world. Everyone, every single human being has a mission, and you can get an inkling of what's your mission just from your desire. So, by being uh, your authentic self, um, and by honoring your desires, despite any challenges that you may have, may have had in the past, or because of the challenges that you've had in the past, that's how you know that you can touch someone else's heart. That's that's what makes you unique and that what gives that's what gives you the ability to make a special contribution to the world. So please don't think of your uh, past experiences as a hindrance. If anything, they please think of them as something that is uh, making you uh, even more awesome to the world. All right, I hope that this video has been inspiring or informative in some way. Um, I don't know exactly who's watching this video, but I know that you are an amazing person. I know that you're special and that you're important and that you're powerful. And if you want to accomplish something and you have a desire for something, you can make it happen. So thanks for watching and um, thank you for being you. Okay, keep shining. And if you like this video, please 
like this video. And if you'd like to leave a comment, please leave one below. Thanks so much. Have a beautiful day.